Lady of Shelly Kelly, Annie Parker Confidential. Welcome to my house in Solana Beach, California. So if you've been following my blog lately, and I know that a lot of you do, you know that we've really been talking a lot about sugar in our diets and the negative, negative, harmful effects that it not only has on our body, on our mind, and then today we're talking about the harmful effects that it has on our skin, how it ages us significantly. And I want you to remember three numbers, three, five, and 10. Three ways that sugar ages us, the five signs that you're eating too much sugar, you can see it on your face, and eliminating sugar will take 10 years off of your face and your looks. Now that's worth listening to, right? Okay, so here's the deal. The three main ways that sugar ages us is threefold. One, it damages the collagen and the elastin in our skin. So the collagen is the protein in our skin that gives us that fresh, youthful, plump in the face look. And the elastin, just think of it as elastic. Elastin is another protein that allows our skin to snap back into place when we smile or we frown or we make a funny face. That's what allows it to snap back into place. When we have too much processed sugar in our diet, and that's maybe eating too many baked goods, too much processed food, even things that we normally think of are healthy, and you can see more of this on my blog, like yogurt, granola, bottled smoothies, a lot of those are excruciatingly high in refined sugar. So when that happens, the sugar attaches itself to the, those proteins and it breaks down and makes brittle the collagen and the elastin in our skin and the end result is that our skin is thinner and more wrinkly, not good. The second way that sugar ages us is that it is dehydrating. So sugar is a dehydrating agent. It causes increased oil production in our skin and it also affects water binding, which is why our skin can look less oxygenated, less fresh, and have that dull, lackluster appearance. And the third way that sugar ages us is it is an inflammatory, right? So because it's an inflammatory food and causes inflammation in our body, when we eat these high sugar foods like baked goods and yogurts and granolas and candies and fast food and even a lot of carbohydrates because those are highly processed as well and it causes an insulin spike. The insulin spike increases the inflammation in our skin which can aggravate skin conditions like psoriasis, rosacea, eczema and also cause breakouts. So hopefully you can see why it's important to greatly reduce it. So. There are five signs of what we call a sugar face. A sugar face is what your face looks like when you eat way too much refined sugar. And these are the five. There are dark circles underneath your eyes, a lackluster skin appearance, dehydrated skin, discoloration, and sagging skin. Now for sure there are other contributing factors that can accelerate the aging process, like of course sun, stress, um, alcohol, smoking, but by far, sugar is one of the top worst accelerators of age. Here's the long and short of it. Sugar outright ages your skin. In addition to aging your skin, it makes us fat, it makes us sick, it makes us lethargic, it makes us depressed, not feeling good, and it does absolutely nothing positive for our lives other than a few minutes of guilty pleasure that you get when you have a cupcake. Other than that, it does zero good for us. So the question is really why are we eating it? And that's a whole nother can of worms and you can find out more about that on my blog. I talk about sugar addiction. It's not willpower, it's sugar addiction and the food companies know that and that's why they're putting all of the sugar in our foods. It's 80% of the foods that you find on the grocery shelves are highly processed sugar-filled foods. That is outrageous. <laughs> so for more information on all of this good stuff on wellness, on living your best life, and of course all the fun stuff we love, beauty, fitness, healthy recipes, wellness, and living your most amazing life because you deserve nothing other than that, visit me at AnnieParkerConfidential.com and I'll see you on the blog.